couple of things I really like to do in the fall is uh, throw in a topwater bait like this uh, Lobina Lures Rico. And uh, actually, actually, this is the uh, Rio Rico. This is the bigger bait here. And then this is the uh, Lobina Lures Rico. It's the, uh, I think this is more of the original. It's a smaller bait, very detailed. Uh, it has really first-rate components on it from all of the uh, split rings to the Gamakatsu uh, trebles, the Gamakatsu feather treble, just premium finishes, um, really nice bait. And uh, this little Rico, I don't know what it is about the Rico, but it, it spits water out in front of it. When you use those sharp downward uh, snaps of your rod, it just spits water out in front of it like a fleeing bait fish. The Rio Rico for me doesn't quite do that same thing. It comes through the water a little bit more like a chugger, but the, uh, the Rio Rico has a really good rattle to it. Really nice. It's uh, a lot different than a lot of the other baits of its size on the market. And then when you compare that to the Rico, the Rico is really subtle. Another one um, that I love is the, uh, the Rico Suave. Uh, this is a great walking bait. It casts like a bullet. It has the, uh, the weights are all in the tail of the bait here. So it really casts like a bullet. It's uh, again got uh, gamakatsu hooks. And this bait has just a, a great walking motion. You know, it's going to dart back and forth with quick uh, snaps of the rod. It starts up real easy. It walks really good. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a bait I really like as a search bait. When I'm going to try and cover a lot of water, I'm going to throw this Rico Suave a lot and uh, make long casts and try and cover a lot of water with it. And when I get kind of dialed in and I've really you know, more kind of found the fish, um, that's when I'm going to really go to the popper. Um, the popper, you're going to be able to really throw it out there and let it set, or you, you know, you could just chug it, or you could fish it really fast, boop, 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 you know, where it's spitting water out in front of it. Um, but it's something that I can fish a lot slower. When I'm going to throw the Rico Suave, like I say, it's a bait that I feel like I can really cover a lot of water with. That um, I can get out there and uh, go down the bank or fish off of a point and uh, make those really long casts. And then um, the equipment I'm going to use with this, uh, since I'm going to throw this Rico Suave and try and make a really long cast, I'm going to throw that on a probably a 6.3 to a 6.6 six rod. Uh, I'm going to want some power in the rod, but a good tip, you know, kind of a soft tip so you can throw this, uh, you know, you can really load up and throw this bait a long ways. Um, probably going to throw this on um, Berkeley Trilene uh, XL monofilament. Uh, I'm going to throw this on probably a 15 to 20 pound test. Um, throwing the Rio Rico, I'm going to throw that on a little bit shorter rod, but basically a crankbait rod. I'm um, going to, you know, moderate, medium action, something that I can cast pretty far, but um, I also like it to be a short rod because a lot of times I'm making a lot more accurate casts with this. I'm trying to really pitch it into a small, specific spot. And uh, then I'm also going to throw this on uh, anywhere from like 12 to 17 pound test line. When I go to the Rico, this I generally throw on a spinning rod. A lot of guys throw it on a bait casting rod. I have, it's so, you know, I do okay with it, but I'm just a little bit better with this on a spinning rod. I can put maybe a 15 pound test braid to a 12 pound test monofilament leader. Um, gener generally with the leader, I'm gonna run that, uh, that leader about twice the length of my rod. So a seven foot rod, probably about 14 foot leader. And, um, Again, you know, 12 to 17, probably 12 to 17 pound test line is what I'm going to use here. This is a, just a great one for really ripping across the water. And, uh, and don't forget to walk it, too. You can walk these Ricos. It takes a little bit of practice, but you get to where you can really walk them in place. So 
I hope you guys get out there and use these baits and uh, catch a lot of fish with them.